How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Jules Strongbow back in the dressing room, and once again, it's time for dressing room interviews. Our first guest this evening, one of the biggest, most powerful, and I might say the outstanding condition athlete of our time. Of course, I'm speaking of Big Mike Sharp. Hello, Jules. Step in, Thank Mike. You. Mike, you, listen, Mike. I've had a lot of people ask me. They say, gee, this fellow's got the biggest neck I ever saw. He's in the best condition I ever saw for a big man. How about telling us a little about how you do train? Well, it's a long story. It's a hard story, Jules. Well, we can't have all of it if it's real long, but we'd like to give a few tips. Well, I have my own gymnasium, for one thing, and I train consistently every day for approximately two hours. And, uh, you say your own gymnasium. How do you mean by well, that? Well, I've, I've built my own equipment, and, I, and as a matter of fact, I have a, a piece of equipment I uh, constructed myself that uh, contains 15 different apparatus, and uh, you're able to have a complete workout on it in, uh, in, the, uh, in a small room. And uh, there's very few men that can follow, actually follow me through a routine on this uh, uh, particular apparatus. Well, you, uh, I know you do a certain type of training that keeps your, your hips and your waistline down. I imagine there's a lot of our... Uh, wrestling fans, both male and female, they would certainly like to know how you do this, among well, other things, well, but then that's a secret, huh? Well, that's one of my secrets, yes. What, what about your neck? What uh, training do you do with your neck? Well, I have a, uh, a 21 and a half inch neck, and uh, I, uh, I have a, a routine I go through, and uh, of course it's hereditary. My father was a very large man. He was, in fact, he was a, a little taller than you, uh, Jules, and my grandfather was uh, much larger than me, in fact. And uh, I stem from a long line of wrestling. My great-grandfather was killed wrestling. Oh. Mm -hmm. And that was up in the northern part of Canada. You see, I, I spring from the, the north woods. That's right. Now, Mike, I, I'm not saying this insultingly, but the reason I ask you about your neck, I've heard some of the fans say that you're the only wrestler they ever saw that they thought he could pull his shirt off without unbuttoning the collar. Well, that's exaggerating. <laughs> <laughs> well, not a whole lot when you get a good look at it. Well, it's certainly wonderful having you with us, Mike, and thanks for... Uh, the tips on conditioning, and I hope we'll be seeing a lot more. Thank you very much, too. Thank you. And now, uh, once again, it's the Mr. Moto, the man from the Far East, the man that's done so much with uh, bringing Far East wrestling to the United States. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Joe Strombo, I want to tell you uh, just uh, what I heard from you, American, uh, what do you call wrestler? They a uh, very big neck and uh, very good exercise. But I don't think uh, American exercise is very good. Japanese uh, sumo exercise, uh, number one, I think. Sumo, number one. Uh, yes, sumo uh, exercise, everything, you know, built perfect, very strong, uh, stand up, very strong. Everything very strong. Uh, judo too, karate, everything. Karate, you hit like this. Wait well, just a you minute, do I anything. don't tear our table. Uh, you I'm do, just do told anything, you, uh, everything. You, just because you have... Incidentally, since he did do this, I'd show him your hand once no, again. No, I don't want to show the people what I do, anything. Well, I now, you say show. you're the greatest wrestler in sumo. Uh, yes, Is that I right? Am, the I greatest am. wrestler in uh, jiu-jitsu. Yes, Mr. Jules. The greatest wrestler in catches, catch, can. <coughs> yes, Mr. Jules. And I noticed that you throw your karate into your matches once in a while. Mr. Jules, tremble. I don't do no karate. I told you I do, do, do chop. And don't you ever tell me uh, like that. But you are a scientific rat. Yes, I'm very scientific and very clean. And I am the number one, uh, what you call, Japan say, number one uh, uh, wrestler. Were you a good sumo wrestler? Oh, number one, Japan, number one. Number one, Japan. Yeah. Yes, huh? number one. Anything you say, Japanese, number one, Ichiban. Number one boy. Uh, number one boy, too. Yes, boss, yes. Well, I will say this, in watching you wrestle tonight, uh, you told us that you were a good, clean, scientific wrestler. <coughs> yes. I thought that you had improved a little, but not a whole lot, Mr. Moto. I think you've got a long ways to go. Now, Mr. Juice, That's go! All right. now, now, Juice. That's all there is to it. Now, I don't want to hear any more out of you. Right now, oh, Nicky Bachwinkle, the Western heavyweight wrestling champion. Uh, Nicky, uh, we've, uh, I told the folks you come from the line of wrestlers. Uh, your father was quite a wrestler, wasn't he? Yes, uh, yes, he was very much so. And, uh, I, I enjoy getting a chance to talk about him because I'm very proud of him. And uh, for, many for many of the wrestlers that uh, uh, have wrestled him, that I've run into in later years, they've all respected and admired me for, I guess they think maybe it carried over to me. I, I hope I can match up to what everything that he is. He well, your dad done. Warren was a great wrestler. Yes, I look forward to getting his advice at all times. And uh, whenever I come home, I tell him where I've been, who I've seen, who I've met, and they, They've always got, I've always got a lot of hellos and uh, 
well wishes for him. Well, Nikki, I know you've done very well for yourself, too, because you <laughs> won the Western Heavyweight Wrestling Championship. You've shown the eagerness and the will willingness to defend it to one and all customers, and it's a pleasure to have you with us on Dressing Room Interview. Well, Jules, it's a pleasure being here. And say hello to your dad, Warren. Thank you me. very much. Okay, Nikki Bachwinkle, the Western Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. And now we have the fellow that says that... Uh, He's the pride of all women. He says there's no one, no women, no, no lady or woman in the world that can resist him. Of course, we're talking about the great Freddie Blassie. The great, the great, classy Freddie Blassie. Just don't forget that. Like I say, I want to take my hats off to you promoters. I don't spend, uh, throw compliments around too often. But uh, at the present time here, you have got very good wrestlers. I've seen wrestlers all over the country different territories, but at the present time, you have all the great ones. In other words, what you're saying is that you find yourself in a position here that's unusual. You're just one of many great wrestlers. No, 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 you misunderstood me. I said, you have a lot of great wrestlers here. But now, with Freddie Blassie in the territory, you have the greatest. See, you, have a lot, you had a lot of great wrestlers here. I will take my hats off to you promoters for that. But now, you have the greatest when you have the classy Freddie Blassie in here, as I have proven tonight. Because, like I say, you saw what I did out there. I annihilated, annihilated that pencil neck geek in the ring with me, playing with him like a cat with a mouse, like I do with all my opponents. It's been five years since I've been defeated. And I can put my record up against anybody, like I say tonight. I never heard so much vain, conceit talk like I heard out of that Jap and that arrogant punk that just left here, Bachwinkle. I mean, saying this and that. But, like I say, I'm a very modest fella and very quiet and unassuming unless I get riled and the up. And the ladies really do like you, huh? Well, by all means, I mean, after all, it's proven itself time and time again. You take a look out there, the ratio is about four to five to one when females you wrestle. whenever I wrestle. And like I say, the men, they despise me and they hate me, and I can readily understand why, because after all, they hate to see some fella in that ring that is ten times better than they are at anything that they do. Anything they can do, I can do ten times better, regardless of what it is. Yard making love, anything. Freddie Blassie is the greatest. See, it isn't only in wrestling, but in pertaining to anything, Freddie Blassie is the best. And you are a modest fellow, too. Like I said, I'm very modest, quiet, unassuming. I don't go out and make any rash promises, boastful things or statements like I heard on this interview here, previous to me coming here. Like I say, when I say something, I go ahead out and do it, and I've proven it time and time again, my ability, knowledge, and know-how is superior to anyone in the professional ring today. Well, thank you very much, Freddie, for being with us. I hope we'll be seeing much more of you. Oh, by all means, you will. Thank you. Thank you very much. Classy Freddie Balassi, as he says himself, a very modest fellow, but he says he is the greatest wrestler in the world, and he's certainly proved to many of you that he knows what he's doing when he is in the ring. It's been a pleasure being with you on Dressing Room Interviews. Join us again. <laughs>